welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. And today, as I promised you the last time, we'll go see the Empress far. You and I will travel a ways together. I will teach you all I know, and you will destroy he who has taken my place. And who is this he? This game is merely the lesser game. It is not the true game of life and death, merely my model of it. I must prepare you for the challenges you will face when we meet Callus in truth. Arnathane, in order to wield the legendary weapon, pre pre Vitas Ayer? Villagers? Villagers? Fuck Villagers on the northern outskirts are under assault from northern raiders. Defeat the mighty shaman who is leading the raids. Okay, we are going against northerners, so we are definitely taking the soldier's sword. Mighty hero gain enough fame to wield the mighty Rita's higher. Encounters with northerners are common in these parts. In this case, the Empress is a symbol, a leader of the Northern clans, but not their only one. Thank you for explaining that. Shaman, you say. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride. Your skill. Thank In time, you. we will learn all of you. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder of Tales explains in a hushed voice. They were sent by the Dark Shaman of the North. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his globe. Rita's ire. This is the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Anger is a powerful force. Yeah, and as you can see, we require 20 fame in order to equip it, but we have zero. The weapon is heavier than you imagine, perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic, preventing you from wielding it to its potential. The Elder looks straight in your eyes as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are all are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may uh, may bear his Frita's ire. Would do well to remember that. Okay, can we ask some more? What would you like to know? Ask quick. Make it quick. <laughs> what do I have to do? You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat Shaman before the fifth village falls. The village is the hero. The hero of Bredon is surely in danger and must be warned. So I'm on a quest to save a hero. Okay, how do I use this? I am great artifacts require great heroes, he explains. Never turn down the opportunity to aid others. Seek out greatness and you will be rewarded. And the shaman? A twisted creature with great power. Never seen on the battlefield, but I hear she commands her warriors from her camp in the forest to the east. We send our warriors to find her, but the magical barrier prevents anyone from entering her sanctum. It is said that Trita's Ayer can break through such a barrier. If she were attacked at her camp, th these raids could surely be stopped for good. And the Empire? The Elder Scouts. Empire? What good is the Empire? Not but tax collector and Karian Kraus. Six raids here this year, and not a soldier to be seen. So much for protection. 
they are less reliable than the wars of the gods. Okay, let's begin our quest then. Thank you, I must. I trust that the sacrifice of Pale does not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. Yeah, I hope so too. Well, I have nothing. Yes, I have nothing. Fire you is again. a symbol of so much purity, will, creative force, and power. A moment of inattention, and it becomes pure Ooh. destruction. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Made it. Uh, come here. That should help. Suddenly, when all seemed lost, the silhouette of a figure appears at the front door. It is Mother Claps, and miraculously, he is unscathed. You think you can make out some shapes coming from the smoke? Did Mother Claps manage to save them all? Oh my. Oh, oh, I'm maybe? Not a vain man. No, he didn't. You must appreciate that the game. Oh, right, this this game has been my focus for more years than I can count. <laughs> I have a certain pride regarding its twists. And turns. It is the one's entire family safe. The villagers rush in and aid the family. Thank you. You have saved my family from certain death. The woman says. Well, our poss possessions have been destroyed, and we will never be able to repay you. Know that we shall. We will speak of your deeds here today for as long as we all shall live. Give me. Okay, I had to save them all by myself. I get it. Careful, your supplies are running low. I know. Rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as the court of a northerner bull wrap around your body. A party of northerners charges at you as you break free. That's why we have those soldiers' sword. The sword for northerners. Not prepared. Oh my god, I forgot. Oh, that was close. Nope. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do. No, I, I pressed F. Oh no. Let's wait slow. No! Oh, okay. I thought I, mean, I was gonna miss that. By the way, uh, do you like those health bars to show? Or would you rather fight them without those? Uh, I will search for spells. So, no, it is. God damn it! As you search for valuables, one of the northerners grabs you. With his last breath, he runs his blade into your side. Yeah. Time passes and things change. The advances of the Empire march on, and mystery and magic falls further into darkness. Yet, death stalks the streets of the city. Ball of smoke casts the city in a dull grey light as you navigate the narrow streets and back alleys of Iron Peak. Beware the Prince of Poison, calls a young boy in a short burnt cap as he hands out leaflets to the passing crowds. You stop to read a discarded parchment sold them by the dam that clings to the cobblestones. Prince of Poison strikes again. Another mass poisoning in the back streets of Low, of Low Town. Mayor raises her out to 500 gold. The boy approaches as if finish reading. If you really hope to be safe, you will best protect yourself. I have just the thing. At the, bar and at the bargain price, I have no gold. Let's ask about the principal poison. 
He's the one responsible for all the killing that's been going on, the child exclaims, wide-eyed. Thousands, if not hundreds of innocent people, dead, all poisoned by the prince. He strikes at random anywhere in the city at any time, just drops one of his canisters and half the streets dead before anyone knows what's happening. If you really hope to be safe, you'd better protect yourself. Okay, how about the, this, uh, these health children in the hallway? The boy looks over to where you are pointing. Most of them lost their parents to poison and live on the streets now. The boy shakes his head in pity, saying, Come, came from a good home, some of them. They won't last on the, last on the street. Don't even know what street corners are best to beg at. You have food! Okay, the protection from the Prince of Poisons. The boy looks around to make sure nobody is watching closely. Then discreetly takes a small vial of porous liquid from his pocket. This tonic was brewed from the fruit of a rare plant that only grows high on the northern hills. It will boost your strength, give you the edge to need to survive the poison. I like you, stranger. I'm a fair judge of character and you seem like a good sort. For you, it's only five gold. I won't try to steal it from him. Hand over the gold and drink the mixture. A sudden, a sudden scream has you reaching for your weapon and sends the crowd in. I, I have a feeling that we lose 100 health in a second. A band of armed warriors advances on a silver-haired -haired woman weighed down with an impressive array of weapons. One of the men points menacingly at the woman, declaring, Yes, since my brother Mada is back to break an echo prison bounty hunter. Yes, the woman states matter-of-factly. I did. Perhaps he should learn to accept rejection. Nobody crosses my family. Hmm. I won't try to defend her, I will observe. The woman stands her ground in the face of the approaching thugs, firing off a few well aimed blasts of her blunderbuss at her attacker. The woman gets off only a few shots, however, before a squad of soldiers rush in to break up the melee. The garrison captain rides up and addresses the woman quietly. Ketura, causing trouble again? It's by doing your job that they make enemies like this, get your response sharply. Captain bristles at this remark but keeps his voice under control as he resolves. We have more important work to do than chasing street thugs and petty criminals. And how goes the search for the Prince of Poison? get asks. I hear another twelve die at a small threat yesterday. The captain's face fills with anger but get simply turns and walks away at it. I have work to do, you know where to find me. The garrison captain screams orders for everyone to disperse, then rides off down the street. His soldiers run to keep up with him and slip away before trouble starts. You leave the troubled town of Iron Peak with the impression that you've not yet not seen all that it has to offer. At what point does honor bend to pragmatism? This road ahead is blocked by an overturned carriage and a woman calling for help. Please help, she cries. I've been robbed by a band of fags. Is there anything you can do? I can try. Oh my god, I hate Within one. games, oh. within games. Yes, those two, please. Yes! A win here sets the tone for your challenge. Thank you, the woman says as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Thank you! Thank you! You thank the woman and continue or you're on your way. Oh, we are close! Let us see what the next town holds. Following the Taylor's elders' instructions, you find yourself on the road to Braden. Task falls as you continue on your quest. Do not take lightly the mantle of fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. You arrive at Braden at dusk to find under attack from raiders. 
as the village burners free brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. Boom calls out. Please help! We must stop these savages before all is lost! You draw your weapon and rush to their aid. Wait, where did you get that rifle from? For a peasant? You have a rifle? Oh, I didn't get it. Do I have to post the sharp? And it's only sharp. Mm. I love those. Ooh, nice. A shield in more ways than one. Yes, please. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid to the and tend their boots. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept a small token of our gratitude. More? Thank you! Oh. It is now time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Tallinn. They point further south down the riverbank. If you are a true hero, you will surely save them. With another village lost to Northerners, you set out for the next town without delay. We may go without the- Oh, you These again! These tokens represent the expansion of the game. More options, mm. more cards, more opportunities. It used to steal all your gold. Hmm. Oh, I like you, so keep your damn stuff. The thief mutters as they drop your belongings on the ground. As you gather up your things, it runs off back into the crowd. You'll notice oh, that my them. carriage does not stop for every distressed traveler along the way. Does it ever stop? Okay, I need to. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes. Do some stuff. I would rather have some more fame. Yes. Now the power now we can just rush. is yours to use. Uh, I, I still need to repost 15. Not okay, I want to do this. It appears you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The raiders will hide from you no longer. Return with us ire over in your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it now weighs less or you have a newfound strength. But either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Malakipes looks on in awe. Whoa. That would earn a pretty penny at the markets, but first. Let's use it on let's use it to break the barrier on the northern raiders camp. Slay the shaman and stop the raids once and for all. Remembering the elders of Tales instruction, you set the out over the sanctum of the shaman. Ooh. Can I get some armor? <laughs> Do we have any Oh we have the surface creed? This gives a yep. Valuable for purely financial reasons, if nothing else. Wait, how does it paint plus ten? My side for all you have more blessings than curses. Okay. Never mind, leave. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. It is as the Taylor's elder said, or perhaps remarks, the Shaman's Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Let's you try that hammer. Of course, I'll try it. 
You raise Reta's ire above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, then, then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Malaklex, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in a newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering Nodenut clansman, bold and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. He does not flinch, nor seem even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with the weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw-plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees behind her. Before her new countless raiders, worshipping their leader in air stillness. The defender of villagers and the exiled one, Shishami says with his she steps down from her throne. I know I have come. Let it end. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bold nunner calmly. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. You ready your weapon as uh, the shaman and her clansmen surround you. Good. I no, I'm not even have got here if not for the hammer. Great leaders are the front line of the Northern Assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. The shaman casts spells that heal her allies, attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. Okay, can you do something? Nope. All right. If you don't have the shield, then the blocking stuns you for a second. Oh, the hard. Oh, she has a face. The shaman's body withers as the dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the sky is clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am called Bjorn. Explain. I was born into the normal class, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they had they have lost. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain from my own on this day. I if you call, I will answer. She reaches out a massive hand and clasps your form. Let us walk back and find your friend. And with that you will call Bjorn make your way back through the forest in search of more crabs. Another card returns to my deck. Do not worry, I have more challenges before you will Yay. be ready to face my foe. Hmm. More armor, I like that. And the hammer. We've unlocked the main door. That the other's gift. Oh! What's up? <gasps> Is it your new companion crew? Katura! Nice! And new challenges. Ooh, the servant. Okay, so what do you say? Tomorrow we'll go you for have the done well. Thank you. you understand the basic rules of the game now. From here, they will change. 
Yes, now we have both challenges unlocked here. The map maker, maker and the servant. And you know what I think we'll go for the servant servant tomorrow. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!